Mahatma Gandhi was born on the 2nd of October, 1869 in British ruled India. A little known fact about Gandhi, at least in the West, is that Mahatma isn't his name. It's actually a title similar to Saint in Sanskrit. Literally translated into English, it means great soul. For those even remotely familiar with Mahatma Gandhi's civil disobedience and protests of British rule, it should be fairly obvious why he is referred to with this title. But Mahatma Gandhi's use of nonviolent civil disobedience didn't begin in India. See, when Mahatma Gandhi was 19, he left India and he went to London, England to study law. And while he was there, he tried his best to assimilate into English culture and customs. And then when he was 23, he set sail again, but this time to South Africa to work in law. Mahatma Gandhi was Indian, but he was English educated and fully immersed into British culture and now is working in another part of the worldwide British Empire, according to Herman Kallenbach, a very close personal friend of Mahatma Gandhi. At this time in his life, Gandhi thought of himself as British first and Indian second. However, upon arriving in British South Africa, he experienced extreme racism, both in forms of systemic oppression and physical violence. He was beaten up, not allowed to sit with white people on public transit, and was even at one point thrown off a train for refusing to leave the first class section. Mahatma Gandhi was extremely hurt and disturbed by his treatment on the basis of race. He then decided to do something about it, and he founded the Natal Indian Congress, which fought for the rights of Indians in South Africa. Many years later, he returned to India and became a leader in the Indian independence movement and as we all know, helped in leading the nation to finally declaring independence from the British Empire. However, back then, India's borders were a little different from how they are today, comprising of what is now the Republic of India, the Republic of the Union of Myanmar, the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, and the People's Republic of Bangladesh. All these countries were, at the time, part of India. This caused a lot of problems within the population because of the differences between these countries. Namely, that India has a majority Hindu population, and both Bangladesh and Pakistan have a majority Muslim population. This caused a lot of tension among the people, with some groups advocating for India being partitioned into two separate states, one Hindu and one Muslim, which ended up happening in 1947, with India split into India and Pakistan, with East Pakistan declaring independence and becoming Bangladesh in 1971. This also eventually led to Gandhi, a Hindu man, being assassinated by an extremist in New Delhi. However, he wasn't assassinated by a Muslim extremist, he was assassinated by Nathuram Godse, a Hindu nationalist. See, Mahatma Gandhi was opposed to this idea of partition and wanted the people of both religions to coexist peacefully in one united country. And Godse felt he was being too tolerant towards Muslims. He felt that Hindu suffering during and after a partition was in part caused by Mahatma Gandhi and the Indian government not taking action. In 1947, between 200,000 and 2 million Sikhs and Hindus were massacred in West Punjab. This led to around 25,000 Muslims being killed in Delhi in retaliation. There was also the fact that when India was partitioned into India and Pakistan, Muslims migrated from India into Pakistan and Hindus from Pakistan into India. Godse felt that it was unfair for people to be uprooted and forced to leave their homes, with a total number of migrants between the two new states approaching 20 million. That is comparable to the populations of New York City, Los Angeles, Paris, Madrid, and Barcelona all being displaced. It's true that the world lost a great man with Mahatma Gandhi when he was shot dead. But the world also lost many more people. And many more people and families were uprooted and displaced all throughout the Indian subcontinent. And we shouldn't forget.